Our Call 6 investigators are tracking a story with national implications involving a taxpayer-funded cell phone program. Our Scripps National Investigation Team uncovered a problem placing the personal information of thousands at risk. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez is live in the newsroom with the new developments for us. Rafael. Uh, Todd, good evening. Indiana is among the growing list of states, including Texas and Illinois, now worried about this cell phone provider tonight. The phones, the people, and the question of privacy. The company behind this tent offering cell phones is at odds with the state's attorney general's office. Terracom really needs to take full responsibility. Terracom participates in a government-backed program known as Lifeline. It provides a phone with 250 free minutes every month to low-income families. A Scripps national investigation found that personal information many of those families gave Terracom to apply for the service was available online. The investigation uncovered records dating back to last summer from people in 26 states. I think uh, Scripps has actually done a service. We're talking about more than 170,000 Terracom files disclosing everything from birth dates to social security numbers. Everything an identity thief would need. In fact, 17,000 Hoosier applications were at risk. There's a lot of money being made by people like Terracom uh, and frankly, they need to spend a little more money uh, protecting uh, the security of that data file and not leave it to consumers. Zeller's office has sent the company a letter demanding when the breach occurred and why. Terracom accused Scripps of accessing the records illegally. Scripps has denied the charge and offered to share a video it produced demonstrating how the reporter found the documents. There's no pointing fingers, and I think, frankly, uh, Terracom has done themselves a disservice by trying to shift the blame because I'm looking for uh, people to recognize their responsibility. Uh, late this afternoon, I talked with a spokesperson with Terracom who says only 270 applications were available online, not 170,000. The company implemented security measures to prevent any future unauthorized access, and Terracom also says it is providing ID theft assistance to customers whose information was made public. Todd? Raphael, you've been doing some digging and you found out that they're facing another state regulator, is that right? Yeah, there's more to the story. The Indiana Utility Commission has opened an investigation against the company. They want to know how Terracom has been able to add 30,000 new customers considering it's been in business only since June 2012. Now, in the past, federal regulators have forced Terracom to refund $400,000 to the cell phone program. So much more to the story. In fact, there'll be a hearing next Thursday. We'll bring you the very latest on that next week. All right, we know you'll stay on top of it. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez from the newsroom for us. Rafael, thanks.